Tonight, a milestone is being celebrated for the head baseball coach of Joliet Catholic Academy. His contribution to the team for two decades has led to their success on and off the field. Coach Jared Voss just got his 500th win, but you wouldn't hear about it from him. It's a little bit embarrassing, you know, because obviously when, uh, you know, you're in it for the kids, you're not in it for any kind of personal uh, accolades or anything like that. His humility and selflessness are some of the reasons why they love to play for him. I mean, you look over there, I have six or seven of my teammates from the 2013 state championship team. When we heard about, I remember Coach Voss tonight, can you guys come up? And I, I, a couple of us live in Chicago, we took the train down just, you know, to see the game. Like, why not celebrate it, especially because everything he's done for us. Oh! This year's team is currently ranked third in the state of Illinois, and they were more than happy to get Coach Voss win number 500. It's a good experience. Uh, that game, I think it was against Plainfield North. We were down and we came back, and we didn't give up, and that's what he taught us. With all the excitement and anticipation around win number 500, you would have thought that Coach Voss would have been here for that win, but he told the team that he couldn't make it. It just so happened that uh, we had a, a father-daughter dance that night, so... Uh, I had to sneak out early, get my priorities right, you know, which, I mean, it wasn't even a question. I was going to the dance. It, it didn't even come close. I thought it, it spoke volumes about family first, and that's what he, you know, insists on with, with his kids, and I thought it was great. It was very touching. From lessons on fatherhood to lessons on the baseball diamond, Coach Voss has left a lasting impact on this entire community. He now has 507 wins, just a few shy of the Illinois high school state record for most wins by a coach at 950. In Joliet, Nick Mantis, Medill reports.